take a very a brief carto bibliographic look at the folding map that's at the front of Jeremy Belknap's History of New Hampshire. It was copper engraved uh, in the 18th century, so it is an American produced map, uh, which is well known. <clears throat> One of the places we would check is David Cobb's <clears throat> reference book, New Hampshire Maps to the Year 1900. And in here, we see uh, that it is map number 65. Here it is here. He lists it as Boston, 1791, uh, which is actually correct. And it shows that the uh, line of Mason's uh, patent, 1787, uh, is on the map. And the grant to Dartmouth College has changed from the manuscript. And so that's the first reference to it would be Cobb. Wheat and Broom's standard uh, bibliographic reference on maps uh, printed in America before the year 1800. We also see <clears throat> here, uh, right here, it is 183, and there are some notes about it. Um, interesting because there is a change to a later state of the map uh, reissued in 1813, but with a boundary change. He also references Evans' American imprints here. So we'd say uh, Wheat and Broon 183. And then uh, another location uh, we could look in is, of course, this monumental Barbara McCorkle reference book. Uh, and this is oops, a book that every uh, collector and dealer should have, and at the rear of the book, uh, we see the map being listed. Um, I just have to recall where exactly we it is in here. It's it's been a while. Here it is, right here. Yes. So it's this N seven ninety one point one, and it's seventeen ninety one, which is correct. There's the Wheaton Broom, there's the Cobb reference there, there are some institutions where it's held. And so that is a very brief overview look at uh, this fine 18th century map of the state of New Hampshire by Jeremy Belknap. It's available now online from me, Brian DeMambro. <laughs>